We've covered this topic in variations on previous videos, but in this video we're going to show you some examples of how your active cooling fan can make a huge difference in the quality of your overhangs and your bridging. This is because you're solidifying the layer as it lays down, which means the plastic will become hard quicker, meaning it won't droop. On the screen now, you can see a bridging test in our Panchroma Matte PLA where no cooling fans were used at all. Then you could see the exact same print, no tweaks were done other than the fact we turned on the active cooling fan to be 100%. Both of these were done on an A1. Then we did that exact same test, only this time with ABS using no active cooling fans and then using some active cooling fans. Let's not forget though, ABS and a lot of other high temperature resistant materials don't like to have a cooling fan on if you want to prevent cracking and delamination. That said, small prints, overhangs, and really small sections on a print can benefit greatly by turning on that active cooling fan slightly. After those bridging tests, we then did the exact same test but with overhangs, this one also in Panchroma Matte Dual PLA. Without any active cooling fans, PLA could really only print around 20 to 25 degrees. But with the active cooling fan, I mean all the way to 70 degrees still looks pretty dang good. And then the same is true for ABS. The ABS without any active cooling fans, maybe 20 degrees is sort of acceptable, but not really. And then with the cooling fan, I mean we were getting up there to 50 degrees without any issues at all. The reason ABS is included in here is because most people think you don't want any active cooling fan when printing with ABS. And that is certainly true if you're printing a really big part or a part you're worried about delaminating or cracking or warping off the bill plate. But even materials that don't generally like a cooling fan for layer adhesion purposes will still print much better overhangs and bridging when you do use an active cooling fan. So this means unless you're printing with some crazy high temp material, maybe some extreme polycarbonate or peak or something like that, you may want to turn on your active cooling fan for specific short layers or for specific overhangs. Now, a cooling fan is not the only important thing to get good overhangs and bridgings. There's also slowing down for overhangs and a bunch of different settings tweaks you can make. But in this video, we didn't tweak anything other than cooling fans. So if you're printing in PLA or another material that you don't have to worry about warping or delamination, crank those cooling fans up. And when you're printing in a material you're a little bit worried about warping, you can turn on the cooling fans for when layers take a very short amount of time. But again, if you're printing a very dense, big part, we would suggest not using a cooling fan just so you can have the best layer adhesion possible. Well, there you go. Come back every Monday for more print tips from the Polymaker Scientist.